Hey everybody, this is the original Josh back again with Dirt Killer Pressure Washers in Cronsley, USA, your home of pressure washer perfection. And today we are going to do a troubleshooting video to assist with electrical troubleshooting uh, issues pertaining to the 110 volt uh, series of machines. That'll be any of the ones on two wheels or hand carry, just not the quadros. We're gonna go over the common questions related to electrical troubleshooting when you're pressure washer. So those include the machine not turning on, tripping, and then also the total stop function not working properly. The not turning on, it's all relatively simple things in most cases. So we're just gonna go over a couple of those real quick. Obviously the first thing we wanna do is making sure that we have plugged in our pressure washer. And also with many of the GFIs, we also wanna make sure that we have uh, reset the GFI as soon as we plugged it in. So I know that seems like a simple task, but it does sometimes get overlooked. So that's gonna be our first step for diagnosing the won't turn on. So next of course is the on off switch, which seems like a relatively simple thing to turn on. However, this switch is not going to be like the rest of the switches that you use in your home. This switch almost has a double click to it as you turn into the on position. Um, I describe it as feeling like you're cracking your knuckle. Um, I know it, you know, it seems like a stupid question, but you gotta make sure that that gets depressed all the way into the on position. And if you're not certain, just visibly look. You've got the on position, make sure that it's pressed all the way. Okay guys, so we've gotten the machine plugged in. We've gotten the on off switch turned to the on position. We heard the machine ramp up, click, and now there's nothing. Well, maybe it's supposed to do that. This is how we find out. We're gonna squeeze the trigger. That could just be the total stop function working the way that it is supposed to. When we let go of the trigger, the motor's gonna stop. When we squeeze the trigger, the motor should start back up. But it's not uncommon for guys to plug this in the first time, get everything going, they turn it on, and then the motor stops and they think that there's a, a problem, but it's really supposed to do that. So that covers all your basic electrical functions and generally about 90% of the calls that we take for tech support relating to the pressure washer's electrical system. Um, there will be some additional things that we go over as well, including uh, capacitor related issues, the um, generator sizes that you should, should use, whether or not you should use an extension cord or 300 feet of pressure washer hose. Um, and if we don't cover any of your questions here in this electrical tr troubleshooting series, feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below or call our office, we're happy to help. Uh, but let's move on to the next video. Kronzler, USA, pressure washer perfection.